Hey y'all, welcome to Primal and Frugal, it's Dewberry. So here we go. This is the intro done as an outro kind of thing because I messed up the beginning of the video. Um, as you know, I don't edit the video, so y'all be nice. Um, I just don't have time and honestly, it's too much work. So this is a keto chili that is topped with a jalapeno cornbread. It's really good. Kind of wish I'd added more hot peppers in it, but I didn't. But that's okay, I've got some extras that I roasted. The cornbread that I based this cornbread topping off of uh, was originally, I found it from Nisha Salisbury, Dr. Kim Berry's wife. Um, and I made some changes to it to suit my taste. It's really good, by the way. There is no corn in it and it's not really bread, um, but it's really, really delicious. If you wanna see the original recipe, you can look up Nisha. Nisha loves it, um, it's her blog and it's on her blog, so I won't repeat that. The recipe for the chili, if you don't have a keto chili that you currently use, will be below, but I don't show you how to make it because it would just make the video way too long. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it sees you through the holidays and I will see you again really soon and I hope that you have a great day. Enjoy it and if you happen to make this recipe, please, please, please tag me on Instagram. Uh, make a comment below, follow me, do whatever it is that people do these days. You know, I'm old, I don't really know, but anyway. I hope that you enjoy. <laughs> you don't really can't see it really well in the red, but it's delicious. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna tilt the camera down and we're gonna go ahead and make the topping for it. So let's get started. Just gonna tilt you down, tilt you down, tilt you down. So here we go. As usual, we are going to start with a block of cream cheese, and this one has a stick of butter in it. Now, I have had this in the microwave, so it's super, super soft, as you can see, right? So, we're just going to break this up a little bit, mm -mm -mm. right? You know, you have to have some body to these dishes because there's no flour, there's no gluten, there's nothing to really sort of pull it together. So we're going to use cream cheese again. But you see, that's nice and smooth. And we're gonna add a half a cup of sour cream. And four eggs. I cut the eggs back in this recipe because of the sour cream. <laughs> See, that's looking good already, and we're not even part way done with it. Okay, this is going to be two tablespoons of roasted um, jalapenos. You could use pickled jalapenos if you wanted to, I just didn't have any. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these in. And these are moderately hot, but not terrible. I did leave the seeds in the membrane in. That's just why I'm not using as much. And about three fourths of a cup of cheese. You can use more, you can use less. All right, so then we're going to add the rest of the bread mix. Pork panko, almond flour, coconut flour, and baking powder. Now this would be good just cooking it in a pan, I imagine, but I really want it on top. And you could mix this for days if you wanted to. There's no gluten in here, so you don't have to worry about it getting tough. There we go. Let me drop this off. grab the other two things we're gonna need. So here we go. Looking good. All right, so let's bring this over. Mm 
And here is the chili. This is hot. And we are going to just spread this on. And I probably won't even spread it, honestly. I'll probably just let it cook just like this in sort of dumplings. Because I didn't think that that was going to happen. But it looks like it's going to. And it'll probably spread a little bit. We'll see. I've never actually put this all together. So this is an experiment. And either way, this video is going to get posted. Listen. Mistakes happen all the time. Why worry about it? Even if it weren't great, I'd still eat it because I'm not throwing away this much food. Hmm. So let's see. We're just going to give it a little spread, not too much. I'm not going to tell you how long it's going to bake because I don't know, honestly. So, that's it. Mm. We're going to drop this in the oven. I'm thinking 20 minutes, maybe 25 or 30. Really just depends what happens because I really don't know. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven and I'll bring you back as soon as it's out. All right, so this cooked for about 30 minutes, and as you can tell, I'm having technical difficulties because I've already tried it, and then I cut off the video somehow. So anyway, this is really delicious, by the way. The cornbread's really good. It's sort of custardy down towards the bottom where it meets the chili because there's a lot of juice in this chili. If your chili were a little drier, it wouldn't quite be as custardy, but it is. And then the top of the cornbread is just lovely. Darn, I gotta have another piece. You can see it's, it looks like cornbread. Is it exactly like cornbread? Well, no. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is really delicious. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that you make it. This is one of those things that what I usually do with a casserole like this is I cut it into however many pieces I think I need it to be in and let it get cold. And then I take it out in chunks and I take it to work and I heat it up and I eat it. Um, and it's just, it's always makes me happy. So I hope that you, uh, uh, you make this and that you tag me in it when you do. And I think I said that in the beginning, um, and enjoy it. And listen, it, it, cooking can be such a pleasure and not everything turns out. Um, I don't really hide my mistakes. I just do whatever needs to be done. You can feel good about eating this. That's good, clean ingredients. The, the chili itself, which again, the, the recipe is below, um, doesn't have a lot of tomatoes in it because tomatoes are gonna push the carb count up and we've already got a higher carb count because of the crust. So it's got ground beef and uh, breakfast sausage, like hot sausage and peppers and onions and fresh garlic and tomatoes and lots of beef stock. So it's really delicious. So even made on its own, it's just a good chili and you could like put it over hot dogs, hamburgers, or you can just sit down with a bowl of it with a little bit of cheese and cilantro and sour cream. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Enjoy.